Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. In our previous video, we unboxed the Helltech Capsule Sensor version 3 and learned all the specifications. Now, it ships flashed with Meshtastic, so in this video, we're going to get all hooked up with Meshtastic and, and give it a little field test. Yeah, a long touch on the touchpad switches on the capsule sensor, and then it starts flashing. That means we're ready to hook it up with Meshtastic. So I'm going to hook each one of these devices to a different phone. I have my reasons. I want two phones involved. Okay, so here's the first one. Firing up Meshtastic on my phone. I'm going to join with Meshtastic 6814. The password is 123456. There we go. We're connected. Meshtastic 6814. It's downloading the configuration. Ah, you see, we have to set the region, though. So we'll pull down here and click on US. Now, it's actually going to reload the configuration again. So let's give it a second here. Watch that go by. Here we go. It's going to load up now. All right. So now, on my other phone here, I'm going to scan this QR code. And I'll be joined to the same network. So now we see both devices are on the long fast network. Let's test out the text functionality. Click down in the text box. Hello, friend. And send. Oh, message received. Yeah, you even get a notification on the phone screen there. Hi, how are you? Okay, message received. Notification. All right, there's mine on my belt loop. And my wife's helping out here. It's attached to her purse. We're at the local nursery. It's very scenic and picturesque. It's quite a large facility here. Mesquite Valley Growers in Tucson. So I'm switching on range test, and you send that to the device, and delivery is confirmed. And I've also switched on save CSV in storage. That works up for ESP only. So we can download the CSV file from our range test later on. Oh, look at that. I just got my first packet from D404. Yeah, I'm going to double check and make sure it's running. <laughs> This was complex doing this on the, on the scene and making sure to tick all the tick boxes anyway. Yeah, you can see the GPS coordinates. I just got another packet, packet 6. And I'm 86 meters away. Let's look on the map. That's pretty cool. So we walked around in different directions just trying to make a distance between us and get the readings and stuff. Like I say, it's a very, very picturesque place to be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and export the range test CSV file. It winds up in your download folder. Just got my eighth packet from D404. Let's go ahead. We're going to switch off the range test configuration. So radio config, range test, switch it off and send. There we go. Now this is the data. That's the format that it comes out in. What's cool is you have both the remote GPS coordinates and the local GPS coordinates in the same line here. So I'm bringing it into a spreadsheet and I'm trying to uh, prepare it so that I can use this GPS visualizer website. It didn't like the file coming out of the gate, so we got to get the right uh, headings for the columns. And then I also, because there's two sets of data, I copied them into the same columns, so both the remote and local, and then it's sorted by time, so you can see the local 6814 coordinates, then you received a packet from D404, and <laughs> so we'll be able to map all this out. Yep, 
Yeah, sorted by time. So we needed to have these uh, column headers here, name, latitude, longitude, and elevation. And let's go ahead and load that up in GPS Visualizer. All right, and there's the map. That's really wonderful. This came out nice. Yeah, that was us in the parking lot getting started. Me at the door. D404 went this way. I'm over here. D404 went here. D404 went there. D404 went there. And D404 went there. And that's me, 6814, wandering around the west and the north of that Mesquite Valley Growers. That came out pretty cool. All right. So look for the links in the description down below to the product page. And also check out this short video featuring the Helltech capsule sensor specifications, if you haven't already. Yeah, you can pre-order this. It'll be shipped on March 8th. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Laura videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.